Hi everybody, it's Adam with HeartValveSurgery.com and we are in Los Angeles, California at Cedars Sinai Medical Center. I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Raj Makar, who is the Professor of Cardiology, Vice President, Cardiovascular Innovation, and a Director of Interventional Cardiology. Dr. McCarr, it is great to see you again, and thanks so much for being with me today. It's a pleasure, Adam, to see you. Yeah, so Dr. McCarr, we're here. You've given us this incredible access. I just saw you perform a transcatheter case, and I've got a question for you. According to a recent survey that we did of our patients, 53% of the people watching this video do not know what an interventional cardiologist is. So could you share with our community, what is it that you do? Well, an interventional cardiologist does the most minimally invasive cardiac surgery, if you want to call it, but these are all done without any incisions on the chest. Essentially, all our procedures, whether it is fixing a blockage in the artery or whether it is actually fixing a leaky or a narrow valve, are done through a puncture in the artery, whether it is in the wrist or whether it's actually in the groin. So that is what an interventional cardiologist is. It's what the surgeons do but do it absolutely minimally, minimally invasively. Can you talk about the interventionalist role within a heart team? So I think it's very important to point out that the best management of patients occurs with the heart team approach. And that involves not just the interventional cardiologist, but the surgeons, the imaging specialists, you know, the echocardiographers, CT and geography, the general cardiologist, and of course, the primary physicians of the patients. So the interventional cardiologist does the procedure, but there are all of these people that surround the interventional cardiologist. Big question for you is, why have interventional cardiologists become so important for the treatment of heart valve disease? Fortunately for patients, uh, the technology has evolved. And I think the interventional cardiologists have had this goal and objective of doing what the cardiac surgeons have done with less invasive approaches. And I have to say that both the surgeons and interventional cardiologists have actually worked together because with the aging population, these patients are less ideal candidates for surgery. And the technology has evolved to fill in that gap and provide more alternatives to our patients who are much older and would be less ideal for surgery. And there is this profound desire amongst all patients, right? If you can achieve a solution to your problem with the least invasive approach, that is the one they actually really prefer. So all of these things have come together and increased the role of interventional procedures in patients with cardiac diseases. Dr. McCarty, can you share all the benefits that patients are experiencing with transcatheter devices? I think the most important benefit to the patients is least invasiveness. So if we can do a procedure without big incisions, without general anesthesia, if possible, that translates into much faster recovery for patients. Early ambulation, early discharge, getting back to work early. And these are all very positive attributes for the patients. I think the important thing is to make sure that we do not sacrifice efficacy for convenience. So Dr. McCarr, now let's talk about a day in your life here at Cedars. What happens on a day like today? When do you get here and talk about the procedures? Well, for example, uh, this morning we all got together and we discussed in a heart team approach. You know, we discussed patients who had mitral valve issues and tricuspid valve issues. And as a group, uh, we went through their imaging findings and decided what would be the best possible approach, whether they would be good candidates for surgery or good candidates for transcatheter options, whether they need to get into clinical trials. Today happens to be an interesting day in our lab. Uh, we are going to do uh, three procedures uh, of transcatheter tricuspid valve uh, replacement. We have two patients that will actually undergo um, transcatheter aortic valve replacement, 
and we have a patient that will undergo transcatheter mitral valve edge-to-edge -edge repair. It's a fun day in the cath lab. All right, so Dr. McCarr just described some of the cases he's doing today, and we are watching live a transcatheter mitral valve repair case. The patient has regurgitation, and this is gonna help minimize that by clipping the mitral valve leaflets. And this device that you can see here is the Pascal device made by Edwards Life Sciences. And again, this is done with out an incision to the chest or the ribs. So Dr. McCarr, I just had a fantastic experience seeing you and your team down in the cath labs performing these incredible procedures. How did they go? Adam, I'm glad you had a good time uh, watching these uh, amazing, uh, I'm still amazed by these procedures. I do them every day, but you know, we had a good day. Thankfully, all patients did well. You know, so I'm hoping that we can discharge, you know, at least uh, four out of these seven patients, you know, tomorrow who have under, undergone transcatheter heart valve procedures and maybe the rest the day after. So I think all in all, it was actually a good day. Got to ask here in the day in the life, when does your day end? I'm typically done uh, with my procedures around 7 p.m. And I think then it's time to sort of spend time with the fellows go over the plan for the next day. But there is academic work that goes on. Academic work of research and advancing some of these things occurs on the weekends and it occurs at nights. But it doesn't feel like hard work, thankfully. I feel very fortunate that I have the privilege of doing what I do and it happens that it actually really helps patients. Well, Dr. McCarr, on behalf of all the patients in the heart valve surgery, com community patients all over the world thanks so much for your time today i've enjoyed this day in the life and it's great to see you again dr mccarr thank you thank you so much adam hi everybody it's adam i hope you enjoyed that video and don't forget you can always subscribe to our youtube channel watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen or click the blue button to visit parkvalvesurgery.com.